Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I wanna to show you how to make an awesome thumbnail for YouTube using two of my favorite programs, one of them being PowerPoint and the other one being paint.net. All right, well let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm on my desktop here and uh, so the two programs that I mentioned, PowerPoint, how do you get PowerPoint if you don't have it? Uh, well, what you do is you go to office.com, uh, you can click on get office and you have a few different options if you wanna buy it, it does cost money. There's a free online version as well, but today I'm gonna be using the desktop version which you have to pay for. Uh, the other app that I'm gonna use today is called paint.net. Uh, this is a free graphics program that you can get on your computer. It's kind of like, imagine Photoshop, but perhaps a, a little more simplistic and less powerful, but then entirely free. Uh, and this is the other program that I'm gonna use. On the Get Paint on that website, there are a lot of these Start Now buttons which are tempting to click, but make sure you just click on this paint.net uh, download button at the top of the page here. So just be careful on what you click on. Um, because it is free, they try to make money off ads as well, um, which is why it's a little tricky finding what you want. Um, so those are the two programs I use. Uh, what I wanna do is walk through one of, the, one of the thumbnails that I made recently for one of my videos on YouTube. So let me pull up my uh, YouTube start page real quick and I'll show you two thumbnails for video. So I have this mail merge tutorial video that I recently pulled together and then I also have this other video on how not to be shy and how to be more confident and outgoing. So I'm gonna walk through um, how I created those thumbnails and a lot of my thumbnails that I create are pretty similar um, where you know I have a picture, some text and, a, and an icon. Um, so if I walk through one of them you'll get a sense for how I create all of them. And uh, one thing, uh, so the, these two programs, so paint.net and PowerPoint, I've used these two programs to create all my thumbnails that I have on YouTube, uh, and it's worked pretty well. So I, I think it's a good combination. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna open up PowerPoint, and here you'll see the, the two thumbnails uh, that I recently talked about. So I set them up in a slide format. Um, so here you see I have my picture, I have some text, and then I have some icons. I'll walk through step-by-step step how I created this. Um, so here you see I have my picture in here um, that I put on the slide. Well, how did I do that? Well, let me, let me show you. So I have this picture on my computer and I opened it in paint.net. So I'm gonna move paint.net to one side and then my file explorer to the other. Uh, and then I'm gonna open up this photo of me pointing at the computer screen. And what I wanna do is I wanna get my picture away from all the background material there. So they have a thing called the uh, lasso tool. So I'll click on that. And then what I did is I just kind of went around and I selected my body here and my head. And um, so obviously in the actual thumbnail, I took a little bit more time. So it doesn't have all these jagged edges and whatnot around my body there. I wanna make sure I don't cut off my finger. Uh, and then I'll kind of go around. And so this is my area of selection. So I'm gonna hit the delete key, get rid of all the stuff around me and I'll just kind of delete all this extra stuff over there. Let's delete this too. Um, and there you have it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a rectangle tool uh, and then I'm gonna select myself. So I just copied it. And now I can bring that over to PowerPoint and I'll paste it in. And so there, there's a little more rough version of what I created originally. Um, and then what's nice about PowerPoint is you have all these different photo correction tools. So I could click on format corrections and then here I could increase the brightness uh, and that matched with the brightness that I used in my thumbnail and you know here what I could do is I could drag to um, expand the image and then so there it's about that same size. Um, so there I put the image in. Um, these different icons that I use, uh, the way I typically get these, so this is just the Word, Excel, um, Outlook icons. Uh, what, I'll, what I typically do is uh, you know here if I go to Bing um, let me open up Bing, and then I could type in Word, let's say Microsoft Word Transparent um, Icon, and then I'll go to Images, <clears throat> and uh, so here's a transparent version. This isn't really, this is one of the older icons, uh, but I copy that and then I could paste it in. The nice thing about using a transparent image is you could put it over anything else and you have that transparency around the edges, so here I would put that in. Uh, by the way, these are the new Word Excel um, Outlook icons, pretty, pretty nice, uh, pretty modern um, compared to the older icons. Um, so there I, I put the icon in and then I could adjust the different size. Um, and then I have this header here, this is my kind of title. Uh, usually what I try to do is I want text that really reflects what the video is about. Just a few short words where someone could glance at the thumbnail and get the idea of the video. Um, and then here I could just go to uh, insert text box. Um, and I could type in mail merge uh, tutorial. Um, and then here I could blow up the size a little bit. I could choose a different font. And maybe I adjust and give it like a nice gray versus the stark black. And then here I could uh, position it in. So I, I did that originally. So I put my text in there. Um, and then the last thing I did is I have kind of a slight gradient in the background. If I go to design, 
um, and format background. You know, here I could apply um, different gradients. So I could go with a blue instead. I could go with a yellow instead. So it's really easy just to kind of transform and play around with um, your thumbnail here. I'm going to go back to my um, ooh, that kind of like the blue. That's kind of nice. So if I do that. Um, and uh, so if you look at this other thumbnail I did, that's very similar where I kind of cut out the images and then it's transparent in back and then I just inserted these uh, icons. And here too, I have this gradient in the background. Um, so in this thumbnail, I used the same technique as what I did in the previous uh, thumbnail that I showed you. Um, so uh, pretty, uh, pretty versatile and you could use it across uh, different videos that you're doing. Um, but what I could do is once I'm done with my thumbnail, um, I simply go to File, Save As. Um, it's PowerPoint, so you think, well, hey, I'm saving a PowerPoint. Um, how do I get it into a format that YouTube wants? Um, so here I go in and then I click on the file format that I'm going to save as. So by default, it saves it as a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, but what I can do is uh, here I could go down and I could save it as a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG, um, depending on the format I want. YouTube takes uh, JPEGs, um, so here I could go ahead and save it. Um, and then I could, uh, I could save my file. Um, so I've already saved my thumbnail uh, previously. And then so I'm gonna open up the saved copy and uh, here it is, it's in the right dimensions that YouTube accepts. Uh, so the aspect ratio and everything is exactly how it needs to be. Um, and there's my thumbnail using, uh, so I use paint.net, I use PowerPoint um, to create my thumbnail. Um, a few different things that I wanna show in PowerPoint which are uh, helpful as you're creating a thumbnail. Um, there's something if you go to the home tab and then click on select under editing, there's a thing called the selection pane. Um, and with the selection pane, I can hide different elements um, as I'm working on it. If let's say I wanna hide the logos or maybe I wanna hide myself um, and you wanna work on your thumbnail, you could do that. Here I could also click on an item um, and then I can move it around. Um, so I can move the item around. Um, and you could also uh, title these different things. So here I could say um, thumbnail title. You could title your different uh, selections so you know what's what um, in the thumbnail. Um, and that's, that's really all it is. It's pretty easy pulling together thumbnails. It's kind of fun. I always look forward to it anytime I pull together a video to pull together um, a thumbnail. Um, some of the um, things I, I like to try to do is I like having a picture because when I do tutorials, I'm in the video. So I like um, showing myself. Um, I like including some type of icon or pop of color just to represent what the video is about. Um, and lastly, I'll put some type of text or maybe just a few words that indicate what it's about. I don't always do that. Uh, you see my second thumbnail, I don't do that. Um, but I like to do that where it just kind of indicates what is the high level value prop of this video that I'm going after and what communicates what this video is about. Um, there you have it uh, using PowerPoint desktop. This is PowerPoint um, that comes with Office 365. And then I also used uh, paint.net as, uh, as the editing program for photos. Uh, and then the combination of those two, you can pull together some pretty nice thumbnails uh, for YouTube. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see future videos like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. All right, well, I'll see you next time. Bye.